What's going on, YT? It is your girl, Leah Ray, and you're tuned in to The Leah Ray Show. So, wanted to come on here and do a long-awaited car tour. I don't know if I even said that I bought a new car, but you guys, if you've been following my channel, you already know what happened with the Honda. So, welcome to the 2021 Hyundai venue. While I'm doing this car tour, I will also be cleaning out this car. First things first, let's hop into the trunk. I know it's not called the trunk, this is about all you can fit here. I have some shoes here that I was gonna donate. I don't know if I'm nesting or whatever the case may be. The guy across the street, y'all, he got a Trump 2024 sign in his yard and he just waved at me. I'm gonna wave back though, it's the South. I'm really not feeling having to haul this stuff anywhere. I'd rather just throw it in the trash at this point. Sometimes it'd be like that, it is what it is. Other than that, the only thing I have in here is two water jugs, some stuff from my friend. These are masks, y'all, I have two big old shopper bags full of masks because my friend she worked at the home depot they no longer had the mask um, requirement and y'all if i'm sweating i'm sweating it's 90 degrees outside literally we're on a heat advisory i'm watching khaleesi i put some sunscreen on her my friend she works at the home depot they no longer had to wear masks to work and they had all these masks so she asked me if i wanted some i said yes i brought some of them to school i still have a whole bunch i think i'm gonna keep them because from what i understand COVID is creeping up and your girl cannot get sick being that i am pregnant not being that i am pregnant but just especially since i am pregnant so i'm gonna keep these but as you can see not a lot of trunk space i swear my honda had more trunk space than this oh i bought adrian and i some new kites flying kites is so much fun we've only done it one time but let me tell you if you have not flown a kite as an adult you are missing out get yourself some kites wait on that windy day i'm telling you it's gonna be so much fun Sorry. Here is the trunk emptied, not a lot of space. These seats do go down to give you more space for storage. And then as you close the hatch, dang, I can't even touch the car, it's so freaking hot. That little thing, right, I can't touch it. I can't touch it. Round three, as you close the hatch, that piece comes down right there. I guess it's to protect things from falling in the back. I really don't. All right, y'all, let's take a trip to the back of the car, the back seat, somewhere I never dwell. So this is, the back seat. We have Khaleesi's car seat and baby back here. Khaleesi, you're gonna have to go take this. As you can see, not a lot of room. I have my rear view mirror car mount for my phone. This thing is the bomb. No, that's not my baby, that's your baby. Here, here's your poppet and some baby wipes. You do have a little mesh netting right here to store something, but you don't have one on the other side. I have a jug of water that I'm about to pour out because it's been sitting in the car. You know you can't drink water after it's been sitting in the plastic for too long. Khaleesi, here's your purse. Put that by the door. So not really much to the back seat. Let me give you a closer look inside. So I'm sitting in the back seat now. Let's take a look at the door. You got these kind of handles, a spot to roll down the window, and then you have these cup holders. Now that I will say is kind of dope. You got your speakers, and then you have this little handle right here, and it's the same on the other side. But again, as you can see, not a lot of space back here. No rear vents or anything like that. And then here's the view when you sit in the car. Now, this thing right here, that was that thing that went down over like the, the trunk or whatever. This is your backseat cup holders. It's portable. So you just sit this right here and it's in between the two people in the back seat. Let me tell you something, this actually works. Your drinks don't fall over or anything like that. I've actually tried that out. Where are we going? We're going shopping. Oh, snap. Khaleesi's actually not sweating. She was just playing in water. Her face is still wet. I need to run through some water myself. It's way too hot. All right, so here is the front of the car on the door. Same situation. You have your a cup holder right here, and you have your lock and unlock for your windows, your door handle, a little compartment handle right there, and some speakers in the door, okay? Now, as you get in, you got the floor mats that say venue. I actually like these. Oh gosh, it's a bug. And then we have a picture of little baby Khaleesi when she was a baby. You see this picture? Then you just have this little compartment. You sit your cell phone, you sit your keys here, whatever. And then you have your glove compartment right here, which I'm gonna take all of this stuff out and just leave the owner's manual because I don't even know what this stuff is. 
All right, so nice and clean. All right. So what I'm gonna do now, show you the center console. We have this compartment, right? Khaleesi, be quiet. Here, bunch of junk. Let me get the junk out. Khaleesi, you found it. You found my jump drive. Thank you. Can I have that? Oh. I've been looking for this guy. All right, so now that it's all clean, you see that? It is the little compartment there. It stores quite a bit. Khaleesi, you can go ahead and close that. Boom. All right, like I said, cup holders. And then you have your gear shift and drive mode. Drive mode is very interesting. I'll tell you about that in a second when I get into the driver's seat. Okay, now here you have this, the USB right here. That's a charger, but this is my favorite one. This is your fast charge. If your phone dies, your phone will charge so fast in here. So that's where I always have my USB charger connected. Then you have a little car space right here, a little compartment rather. All right, now I'm about to hop into the driver's side. Khaleesi, it's my turn. Oh, and before I move over this is your mirror that you have on your passenger side now, this is the key that comes with the car khaleesi show them how to push the key up bam then you have your lock your unlock and your hold for your alarm your panic button i'm gonna go ahead and crank the car up here we have the infotainment center coming from the 2009 Honda with no perks except for automatic windows. I was very, very happy to have that infotainment center. It's very big. You got the Apple CarPlay. It's beautiful. It connects every time. You got your radio. You could just do all of these things. Then you have your radio, your media, seat track. I don't even know what that is. Your setup. Okay, you got your hazards volume never even twisted that one time then down here you got your ac it is temperature controlled now when you come over here i love my digital dashboard it tells you which doors are open we got 58 miles till empty it's 100 degrees it's registering and this is how many miles i have on the card right now i have it in sport mode that's what i was talking about down here if you want the car to drive normally, you will click that little that little knob to the left and it will be in normal mode. If you want it to accelerate very fast with a lot of power, you will click it to the right and put it in sport mode, okay? So when I'm entering the highway, this is usually the mode that I put it in. One more click to the right and you're in snow mode, which I don't need snow mode, but I just thought that was a nice feature. Then here's your steering wheel. You have your cruise control. This is your, like your information. It puts stuff on the dash, let you know what's going on. Then here you have your cruise control settings. Over here, this right here, this activates Siri. I use this all the time. And then you have your controls for the radio, which I never really use. And then answering and hanging up on call. Then, you know, standard um, windshield wipers and lights. And then over here, I never use this, but this is dope, yo. This is lane assist. When you're on the highway, especially when you're in traffic or you're driving long distances by yourself, you turn on lane assist. So when you turn it on, the little lane assist icon will pop up right there and it will give you indications and jerk the wheel when you are getting too close to somebody else's lane. Love that for the highway. You really don't want to have that on when you're in the street because it's weird. You can actually see the um, and feel the, the steering wheel like jerking. It's something that you have to get used to, but it's so good for the highway. All right, now over here in the door, you got your cup holders again. You got your window lock, all your window controls, lock and unlock for the doors. And then this is for your side mirrors. Again, up here, you have your mirror. And this is where I put my car mount. That's your rear view. And guess what? That's all she wrote, right? Right. All right, y'all, I was walking to the trash can to throw away that water jug, and I want to give you a little fun fact about me, something weird. I hate these mushrooms. Every time I see them, I kick them up. They are the weirdest thing to me. You know, they pop up like overnight. Why are you growing that fast? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, so Khaleesi's still driving and my general thoughts about this vehicle. This, I almost forgot my work tag, my parking tag, need that. This is a car for a high school student or a college student. This would be the perfect vehicle for them. Just needs a small, reliable vehicle to get around. A lot of time they have campuses that are in cities. Parking can be an issue. You can park this thing anywhere. It's so tiny, so compact. It is the perfect vehicle for them. And you can fit five of your friends in here. It'll be a tight squeeze, but where are they going? To a party, to the mall. 
I mean, to a friend's house, what are they really doing? They can get down to the beach if they want to get down to the beach in this car. So while it was not my first choice, it was not a choice at all. I am 100% grateful because I needed the car. And this was a very affordable option. All right, we are done showing you the car and cleaning the car out. We're done, Khaleesi. Say, until next time, peace. I don't know why she didn't pronounce her words because the girl knows she can talk.